So for today, it was mostly um, wonders, which is our state mandated curriculum. So it was the language arts curriculum. So um, I used the online material, so the story from online, um, as well as you know the teacher guide and the planning to come up with the content for the lesson. So it was mostly from wonders. And then um, when I was doing my small group reading, those leveled readers are from Wonders. So those are the individual um, readers for each unit, and that's provided by Wonders. And then um, all the little stations, those are just materials that I kind of pool and supplement myself. So um, the Play-Doh and the sight words and um, the their writing in their journals. So, I mean, those are just little materials that they need to use to do those activities. Um, and then the book bags where they put their books in. So you have to have books for them to read from our classroom library. And um, some other supplemental materials as far as like the writing and the stretching of the words and the spelling and the um, dictation for them when they're writing. Mm, I think I wanted the variety of materials to I mean, they're learning so many things at one time. Um, you know, it's the phonics and the word work and the vocabulary and the reading comprehension skills. And as they rotate, they can get so many different skills done in one um, time period, time frame. Um, so, and I think I, I chose them because I, I wanted it to reach those different types of learners. Um, so, you know, they're using the technology one time and then they're using their hands the other time. So they're not just sitting and reading or listening the whole time. I, I think I like that they get to use their hands and that they're different and that it, it um, reaches all the different types of kids. Um, you know, they might not like to the technology as much, but I mean, I don't know what kid doesn't like the technology, but it makes it engaging and exciting and gives them the opportunity to learn in different ways and explore. And I like that it's different. Um, I also like and appreciate the Wonders curriculum because it incorporates the science standards. So one of the things I'm struggling with is time and having enough time to teach everything. So today we were doing, that was our reading time, but we were learning about animals and comparing um, baby animals to the, uh, their adult animals, which is the kindergarten science standard. So I appreciate that and really like that Wonders incorporates the science with the language arts time. Just that the Play-Doh, <laughs> it's messy. I know that and that's, fine but and they love it and it's engaging and they can get their hands dirty but I would change the play-doh from not getting all over the floor that's just my personality <laughs> so I think I mean the nonfiction text is very meaningful to them like animals is engaging to them they like animals they like to learn about animals they also like to make connections to where they've seen animals and what they know about animals. Um, I think it was enjoying, joyful enjoyment. They enjoyed it um, and it was relevant because they can relate it to, you know, that you saw them saying, well, I have a dog and it was a puppy and, and they could relate it to their own lives as well as learn from it and are being able to do that kind of complex reading skill of comparing. So that was an one of the other things that I didn't talk about in the pre one, but as I was teaching, you know, it came out like, oh, this is our skill. Like we're comparing. Are they able to take two different things, in this case animals, um, and compare them? So that's kind of a complex thinking skill for a kindergartner is are you able to compare and contrast um, characters in a story or anything, basically.